So ultimately, I have a goal here, and it's not to waste your time. It's to simplify the question. Should you pick a mini LED screen or an OLED technology screen? And we're going to get to the bottom of it, short, quick, and straight to the point. So if my TV faces any type of window reflections or light reflections, then in that situation, I might want to consider a mini LED panel. Something similar to like the Sony X93L or their newly released Bravia 7 and Bravia 9. But... That might not be your preference. I mean, OLED technology is popular for good reason. I mean, it has some of the truest blacks that you could get on any screen panel, as well as the highest contrast ratios, some of the best color saturation, and the panel can be used as a speaker as well. And they're super skinny. So then if you're in an environment where your viewing angles are not compromised and OLED seems to be more of your preference, then you might want something like the Sony A80L or their brand new release, Bravia 8. Now, just to be clear, everything that we speak about in this video will translate not only to television screens, but also gaming monitors and computer screens, as I've used both of these technologies in both environments or in all environments. So I've been privileged to experience QD OLED gaming, as well as mini LED gaming, as well as a mini LED TV and an OLED television. So although there is a difference and you can go down crazy rabbit holes trying to research one way or the other, I'm gonna simplify all of that for you right in this video. And truth be told, while I actually have a preference in this case, I could use either one and be satisfied. And that speaks volumes to both technologies. I'll tell you more. Now, I have to be honest. After I set up this mini LED TV and turned on some cinema, like some, I mean, picture, picture quality type things, I was actually very impressed with the picture quality, the color representation, and most of all, the brightness was extremely welcomed by me. And even when watching dark colored scenes or dark, you know, cinema photography, this TV actually did extremely well to the point where I'm like, yo, is OLED the best? And what's even crazier is Sony has now improved on this very mini LED technology with their new Bravia lineup, which is next level. This just improves the whole argument or the strength of the argument in favor of mini LED in comparison to OLED. I mean, again, it all comes down to preference and environment. We'll get more on that in this video. So even when I was gaming on a mini LED, you know, gaming monitor or panel, like I didn't feel any lack. I didn't feel any shortcomings with it not even being an OLED panel. Actually, I felt at home. I could get along just fine on the mini LED gaming monitor as I would the uh, OLED one. But hear me out. I do have a preference and I'm going to be honest. My preference in between these two technologies leans towards the OLED panels. And I'm gonna be just straight up. There are times where OLED technology can feel a bit dark and a lot dimmer in comparison. And that's just the reality of OLED. So if you can accept that, if your environment can you know, embrace that, then you'll do just fine with OLED. But the technology on that side, the OLED side is getting better and brighter day by day, year by year. So, you know, the only thing that I can truthfully say is that the color saturation is undefeated. So ultimately, I have a goal here, and it's not to waste your time. It's to simplify the question. Should you pick a mini LED screen or an OLED technology screen? And we're going to get to the bottom of it short, quick, and straight to the point. Listen, if you like a bright screen that can overcome window reflections or light reflections while delivering a nice picture, then mini LED will do you just fine in most environments, actually more environments than you could get with the other side. But if you have a preference for those true blacks, those high contrast ratios, those color saturation, you know, picture pops, and just overall that super cinematic. Actually, let me not say that because you can get just as cinematic with mini LED as you can with OLED. But those true blacks, those contrast ratios, and that nice color saturation pop, then you might actually want to lean towards OLED if your environment can, you know, embrace it. And honestly, both technologies are so good at this point, I think there's only two factors that separate the two as far as your decision goes. And that's number one, environment, and number two, preference. And essentially, this comes back to the reality that if your environment overcomes your preference and is in need of a certain technology, then that's where you're just going to have to land or you're just going to have to deal with the compromise. But if your preference can outweigh your environment and your environment can, you know, embrace said technology, then you can go that way, aka OLED, if you get where I'm going. 
again, I excluded the technology diving into nit brightness and color depth and all of that stuff because ultimately what matters most is your user experience. Can I sit down in front of this screen and enjoy whatever it is I choose to watch? Whether you're a sports fanatic or a cinematic fanatic. Either way, can I experience the experience that I'm expecting? And that's all that matters. You can go to the other cast for all that, you know, jibber jabber, but I'm gonna just tell you exactly how it is and help you make a decision here. And let me make another point. If one of the technologies is more cost effective for you and your budget at that point in time, then that's where you land. Unless you wanna be patient and save up and get what you truly and honestly want and stick to your preference. Something to consider. It's like literally, you know, you got to be smart about it, but I get it. I get, you know, <laughs> antsy about technology and I you know, make rash decisions, but I don't support them. So don't be like me, be better than me. I mean, at times these are hefty purchases and you have to be mindful of this. Now, if I'm being honest, my preference is OLED, or at least I thought it was strictly only OLED until I experienced this mini LED panel, this TV, you know, and a mini LED gaming monitor experience. And honestly, I have to say this, I have grown a huge respect for mini LED in comparison to OLED technology, and I'm not one way over the other anymore. Let me get straight to the point, meaning that if I'm in an environment that requires mini LED technology, then I'll go with mini LED in that environment. Now, if I'm in an environment that can allow me to have my preference, which is OLED, then I'm gonna go that route because that's my preference. So essentially, if you have an environment that requires mini LED, even though OLED is your preference, you either have to adjust that environment with like shades, you know, blackout curtains, and control that environment to accommodate your preference if it is OLED. Otherwise, you can just use mini LED and you'll do just fine. That's the end of discussion, end of debate. You're gonna hear a lot of people saying this over that, but unless they told you their preference before telling you which one is better than the other, it just might be a biased opinion. I'll leave you on this note. After using a mini LED panel for like many months now and having OLED for years, I can honestly say you can go either way and honestly be happy. It's about picking the right panel with the right, you know, accessories, the right experience, the right features, and the right budget. But once you get that nailed in, mini LED or OLED, it's honestly up to you. Ooh. Oh, we got to get a thumbnail. Oh, yeah. We got to get a thumbnail. <sighs> no watch. No diamonds, no watch, good timing, yeah. New watch, no diamonds, no watch, good timing, yeah. Need no middleman, I'm the man of man, send it in. I like what I like, me, I know my rights, it's sipping in. I like having fun, I do what I want, it's what it is. For my son and son, for my daughters, yeah, it's for my twin. I work through the night.